with that, what else can I talk about? What should I do here? Overseas sports? I went to a, a premier game, premier football league game yesterday. I went to Arsenal versus Everton, and I guess Arsenal was heavily favored. And uh, it was an incredible experience. It really was. The, um, the I guess, the club itself, I guess you would call it. Uh, I don't like naming names on the podcast, but uh, they hooked me up with tickets through the promoter. And uh, we sat basically in the best seats in the house, like the club seats, the leather seats. They gave me a little blankie for when I went out there in case I got cold. I took a picture of it with the hashtag cozy smug cunt. And uh, I went out there and it was it was great. Listen to everybody singing the songs and shit. But if, if I lived in England, I would definitely pick a team. And I would go to the pub and learn all the songs. And then I would go sit in the upper deck. Because who wouldn't want to get shit-faced standing up the whole game singing songs? It looked great. So anyways, it was 0-0 or nil-nil. The exact fucking reason why Americans do not watch soccer or football, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then finally, but it was still a beautiful fucking game to watch. It really is. It's a lot like hockey, to be honest with you, except that it's, you know, it's on grass. <laughs> Long story short, Arsenal finally fucking scores. And the whole stadium breaks into this song about Arsenal. Uh, I don't know. They have, I guess back in the day, they used to always win one to nothing. They, they go, they score one goal and then like a bunch of cunts, they just would all go back on defense and you couldn't score on them as the whole crowd would sing this song, you know, one nothing Arsenal and you, you know, you're going to fucking lose and all this shit. So anyways, so they go up one nothing with like two minutes left and they all start singing the song, the whole fucking stadium, except for this one little corner that was for uh, Everton and they get, they're into the second verse, the whole place is singing, they got their scarves out, holding it up, going nuts. Big, glowing fish and chips looks on their faces, having a hell of a fucking time. And when they're in the middle of the second verse, Everton scored. <laughs> oh, did it take the wind out of their fucking sails? They went, so the Everton people are going fucking insane. Somebody lit off like a little smoke bomb that had this blue smoke that was the cover of Everton. I guess you're not supposed to do it. The cops all came running over. And uh, I don't know. They just told him to knock it off. In America, they would have dragged like two rows out, beaten him with clubs. But uh, and then all the blue smoke just kind of went all over this one part of the stadium. And that's how it ended. One to one. And I had a great fucking time. And uh, I highly suggest it. If you uh, highly recommend it, if you come over to England, you definitely got to go. Uh, you got to go to one of those one of those games, Premier League games. It was fucking tremendous. And uh, I plan on going to many more, and uh, hopefully in the future. But uh, this is something that I found out that was interesting, was um, all the maniacs go to the soccer games, and the rich cunts go to rugby. Who would have thought, right? 